What's going on, Maskaholics? Well, I haven't done a new video in a while, at least in a while by my standards, because, you know, I've had to work like, I think six or seven days in a row, like pretty long shifts. And on top of that, I've had a pretty bad head cold, so I just didn't feel like, you know, doing a new mask video, but I'm feeling a little better now. And I still got to work again tomorrow, but, you know, hopefully after tomorrow I should have several days off. But anyways, who cares about all that? To make up for not doing any new videos, I'm going to be dropping a bunch of new mask reviews tonight. And, you know, my voice sounds a little weird. It's like I said, it's because I've been sick. So anyways, tonight we're going to be starting off with this really, really awesome zombie Frankenstein mask from Death Studios. This mask was sculpted by John Smith and it was finished by the legend himself, Jeff Death. And that guy is a real mask warrior. I can't believe what an amazing job he did on this guy considering that he just had like cataract surgery and all this stuff and you know, I'm really in awe of his skill and talent and I'm so happy to add this guy to my collection he's a really really impressive mask this guy is really popular a lot of people have him in their collection but what the hell I thought I'd do another video of him anyways he's so cool and most of the ones that people do videos of he's usually green in those videos but I don't know I've always liked uh, the gray Frankenstein. I used to like the the Marvel uh, comic where Frankenstein was like gray when I was a kid. So, so I'm I don't know. I like gray Frankenstein. So, anyways, let's get in and take a look at this masterpiece of horror. If you want one of these guys, you can get one from Death Studios. Still, they have them on their website for like. I don't know, with shipping and taxes and everything, I think it was $107. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm like choking on my own mucus here, but anyways, this guy's really, really cool, and let's take a look at him. Now my favorite feature on this guy is this awesome deal up here where the, he has the steel plate you can see on his head, and then there's like skull down here and the flesh is all red and irritated and stuff around there and there's all these cool you know cracks in the skin going down and I like how the bolts are up on his forehead got cool clamps and shit here and he's got this awesome vein work that's red on top that looks really creepy and unsettling I love this cool looking pink eye the stills is full of tons of personalities. You know, you can just see like the sadness and pain of his unnatural life, you know, going on here in the sculpture. This guy is super, super cool. I really, really love this mask. I do want to get the more traditional looking Frankenstein that Jeff's death sculpted. I almost bought that one. I couldn't decide which one to get. <coughs> I only had the money to buy one of them right now. So I flipped a coin, you know, and Zombie Frankenstein won the coin toss, but I am going to buy the the regular Frankenstein at some point if Jeff's able to, you know, keep putting out these great masks, which we're all hoping that he can. This guy's really, really fan-freaking-tastic. If you can scrape the bread together to get one of these guys, you know, you won't be, you know, sorry at all. It's made out of like super thick black latex. Look at how thick this thing is. And this guy is huge. I don't know if you can tell the scale of him. I'm gonna put my Tots Frankenstein next to him just for a size comparison. You know, look at how tiny looking he is compared to the the Death Studios one. You can put like the the Tots Frankenstein inside of him. He's very Karloff looking. Really cool looking. They have a, a mummy too that's called Ancient Death. It looks quite a bit like Boris Karloff that I want to get at some point. And a zombie Phantom of the Opera that's really killer. So I'm thinking of putting together my 
own like Death Studios Universal Monster Collection. So anyways, this is my Zombie Frankenstein from Death Studios. It's a really, really badass mask. And if you buy one of them, you won't be sorry.